Hi everyone, this is Charles here, and uh, welcome to our show, the MC Live, where I will just uh, talk, talk, sembang, sembang, we don't copy together with you. So right now, I'm going to invite um, Zerwin and Kelly as my guest host today. So while waiting for them, for the rest of you who just came in, hi, hi, I can see you all coming in now. Hello, everyone. So I'm going to invite both of them coming in in a short while. So just give me a minute. Hi, Zavin. Hello. Hi, guys. So, in a Kelly. Hi, Hi, Kelly. Hi. Hi. So, Hi. welcome to DMC live show. And today is our first, first, first live together. And uh, like I said just now earlier, we are just going to sebang, sebang, chat, chat. Yeah. And I also realized that the Prime Minister of Malaysia is also doing a live chat also at the same time with us. I mean, we actually planned everything already a few days ago, and then suddenly the Prime Minister just said, okay, I'm going to talk today. So out of respect, um, when he is starting, I think we will just wait for a while uh, as he go along, yeah? and then we will just continue once it is done. Yeah, We got just chat with you. Uh, Samantha, hi. Claire, hi. Welcome. Ahmad Shah, hi. Thank you for coming. I just appreciate you all. So we'll wait for the rest to come in in a short while. I think most of us um coming in now, yeah? Um, Kelly, has yeah. the Prime Minister started his talk? What's that? The Prime Minister, has he started his uh, talk? Um, not yet. Not yet, then? Eh? Okay, not yet. let me do a sound check. Eh? Um, Zervin, uh, Kelly and I, can you all hear us? Can you all just speak Hello. so that we can hear? Hello, Hi, guys. Can you hear us? Yeah. Yeah, can you hear us? Yeah, if you all can hear, yeah, I'm so used to Zoom, right? I will say, if you can hear, just type one or press one in the chat room, please. Hi, Katik. Hi, Tenai. All right. All right. So, is, yeah, is the Prime Minister talking now? Speaking? Not yet. Is it live yet? Not yet, eh? Okay, I yeah. think we'll continue our start. Yeah. So what we're going to do is this. Uh, I do have a set of questions. And, wow, the delay is quite bad, yeah? I do have a set of questions. And I will introduce the panelists today. I mean, so-called, you know, panelists. But, oh, these are my friends uh, and my partners here. Yeah? And what will happen is if you have questions on your own also, if you have any questions for any of us, you can just type in and I will moderate because I am the host. And I'm also a participant today. So I'm two in one. I know it's a bit weird, but it's okay. Yeah, you're bear with me. I'm two in one. I'm the host and I'm also the participant. So I will be talking based on my sharing my opinion together with Zervin and together with Kelly. So the first question, the first, first question that I have is this. Zervin, Kelly, and of course, Charles, which is me. Can you all share one strategy to overcome during these tough times? One strategy. So we start with Kelly. Mm, to me, one, yeah. one digital marketing strategy to overcome tough times. Yeah. To, to me, is is a sales funnel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sales funnel. That um, because you you need to know how to actually um craft your offer, a uh, irresistible offer, so that you can uh, approach to your right customer, so that they will come towards you, and then um, get your uh, product or your services. So you're referring to sales funnel? Mm, sales funnel. Because okay. um, different uh, different products, you have a different sales funnel. Mm -hmm. yeah, same with the services as well. So a lot of people, they think that a sales funnel is like um, something is a very, very hard to do. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's just that you need to outreach, outreach, mm -hmm. and then after that, you just need to uh, attract them using the offer, attract them. Mm -hmm. And then after that, uh, uh, bring them into the offer and then turn them to become a customer. That's it. Okay. So we have a lot of first-time people here today who might not know what is a sales funnel. So I'll go into that later. But just yeah. stick to that point. I'll come back to you. Yeah, Zavin, okay. what about you? One marketing strategy, digital marketing strategy um, that can be used to overcome during these tough times. Yeah. Well, um, to me personally, I see it from a different perspective itself. In terms of like, um, yes, we 
for every businesses, right, we are also looking in terms of how are we able to overcome this particular tough time. But I'm looking more towards to a longer strategy, a long-term strategy itself. So uh, right after this MCO and perhaps uh, building your business in the future, right, what are the steps that you really need to take um, at these particular moments to ensure that in the future, we don't get into um, all these kind of like, uh, you know, uh, situations again, right? So uh, my side over right here, I'll be looking more towards to uh, a long term strategy that I'll be building. Um, it might not have an immediate effect right now, but it will be able for you to build a long lasting uh, business uh, eventually, right? On in, in terms of uh, uh, in, in the online world itself. So over right here, I'll be focusing more towards to how are you able to actually um, having an appearance and awareness on Google itself. So how are you able to, you know, like uh, 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 attract your customers or perhaps uh, push your business out there, right? So that people will be able to find your business um, in the online channel itself. So uh, we don't need to just stick with one strategy itself so you will be able to diversify some some of your you know like traffic source coming into the picture because this is one thing that i realized a lot of the people's like uh, businesses right um they will be pretty much focusing on just social media marketing and that is mm -hmm. the usually the first uh first strategy that they will actually tap into right because social media marketing um it will give you a very fast immediate result um, you will tend to get to see that you know the, the the results, the return on um investments, and perhaps the engagement will come in very very fast. But when we are talking of Google, uh, in another perspective, right? Um, the Google free methods, yeah, free methods meaning to say ranking on the Google uh, uh search engine itself, the first stage of Google, that takes time, and it really needs to come into a picture of um. I see it is like fishing you know <laughs> it's like you need to really have the patience you know wait there and fish for your client from there so it's a bit different perspective that i have over right here but um yeah so this is what i i would like to recommend to 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 everyone of you guys so thanks the win so i just summarize you mentioned that uh, businesses need to think of the long term using seo strategies here so me of course uh, i'm going to ask myself what is the best strategy or one of the best better strategies I would say build your community around your business. Simple. Uh, we have already learned that if you don't have a community around your business, you're going to be stuck, you're going to be suffering. And this is what happens to a lot of businesses outside there. They are so focused on their product and the services that they don't focus on the customers at all. So when that happens, now can your inventories help you make money? No. It is called, we call it the network capital. And you need to build a community around your business. So that is what I think that all businesses should focus on today. So we do have a question by Derek. Maybe I'll just uh, show it here on live screen. So Derek is asking a good question. Yeah? People are sure to cut expenses on the non-essential items here. Yeah? So non-essential items probably is that like a luxury items, maybe a food massage, maybe, you know, I don't know, a dye hair, uh, I'm just saying, yeah. And due to the weaking, uh, weaker buying sentiments, so both of you and also our answer, how, how do you find it useful to promote it and create irresistible offer for non-essential items? Okay, Kelly, you want to go first? Uh, okay. <clears throat> how do you create offer for non-essential items? Uh, can, I, can I define the non-essential item will be like luxurious bag? I think we can just give an example of a luxurious bag. Yeah, sure. maybe a luxurious, a luxurious bag. So mm. luxurious bag is fall under the non essential item. Okay. Yeah. Um, to me, same things. Okay, same things are. Uh, uh, when there's a tough time like this, okay, if let's say you really want to um still get and create more new customer market share, a resistible offer you must have to attract different different group of people. So so unless you say that okay now uh, I actually am not interested to the markets anymore. I just want to wipe off. That's it. But if let's say you still want to long run at here, right? You really need to consider to continue to create a different, different funnels with a different irresistible offer. Okay. Sometimes when the people say, "Hey, I already create the offer already," but why do it? No people respond to mine. It just basically is the offer is very sucks. That's it. <laughs> so that's why you need to keep on uh trying, okay, and see which offer is really can hook. Like just now, Zemin said, hook and uh, like a bait, uh, bait fishing. to the people. Yeah, fishing, yes, fishing to the right audience, okay, to really attract 
and really go and buy it. Okay, it's the same 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 things also. Uh, before the MCO, uh, before the MCO, right? Um, luxurious people is not everyone can afford, but some of the people they will really save up the money. Mm. No, uh, one meal, I skip the meal. I skip mm. the meal, I save ten dollars. Mm. Okay, I save for maybe two years. Then I go and buy a a, a, a luxurious bag, wow. five thousand, six thousand. Okay, this <laughs> is like here. Okay, because it's the it's the one, it's a desire, you know, desire to to gain something like luxurious things. Mm. Okay, to fulfill the needs. Okay, so that's okay. why. The different people will, will will behave differently. Even though not okay. and after MCO already, maybe a lot of people, um, in terms of finance, it's a very tough. But they will still think of the way, okay, to get what they want. Yeah. Okay. So these are questions. Uh, this is my okay. answer. Thanks, 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 Kelly. Before I go to Zavin, I just want to welcome for those who are watching here tonight. Um, if you have any questions for any one of us, you can just post. Uh, if you want to have a general questions in digital marketing, you can also post in the chat room. So I am as the moderator of the day. I will just post to ask questions here. Yeah? So Zavin, uh, before you start, I will answer first. Yeah. So let me answer first. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So coming to this again, non-essential items. I will use a good example. If you have a community around you, where is it? I give you an example. Half land selling massage. Do you think that today they can sell massage? But they have done very well because they have a database, they have a community around there. They collect membership, correct or not? Healthland, I don't know. I don't mind promoting them live. The massage center, what they did, they will call everybody and they give me a message in WhatsApp and they message me a few times. And what they ask me is this, hey, during this time, I'm going to give you an irresistible offer. And they will say that this is crazy offer. They said, just top up 400 ringgit. And I, 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 I don't want to talk so much about it. Top up 400 ringgit but you get one and a half year extension and uh, I don't know how many massage hours. And I was like, sure, I'll pay for it. And did I pay 400 ringgit for it? Yeah. So there's still people who will pay for non-essential items because it's an irresistible deal. It's like craziness, you know, 400 ringgit, like the same thing like Asia, what they did. They, they sold, I think, 400 ringgit also, right? Uh, but 40 million sales, correct? Right? Sorry, 400 million? 450 ringgit and then within 24 ringgit. hours they gained about four to five millions uh, i think the sales i think it's more than that i think it's 40 million if i'm not mistaken but i think your 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 google leader the correct answer it is not about the money but the way they do business nobody can fly mm -hmm. but they can still sell flying packages which is amazing so for non luxury item but what you realize between these two companies that i mentioned they have a community around them so if you don't want to make the same mistake again moving forward Build a community around your business. That is why I mentioned, yeah. So, Zavin, yeah, um, okay. any strategies? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you. I'll, I'll be still uh, standing at my, you know, perspective from the Google side itself, right? Sure, but I'll be on the point from two of you from there. <laughs> Kelly mentions about, um, in terms of like, there will be people that will be having the need and the desire. That's the moment that they were actually having the fire to go and buy, right? Um, that's what we call as the demand in the market itself. So whenever there's a demand, those people having the needs, having the wants, usually they already in, in their heart is that I want to buy. <laughs> that's where I'll be going to the shop. I will be going to, you know, like uh, uh, perhaps a, a website or Google to search for the item that I want to buy. And whether or not I will be able to get, uh, you know, like uh, uh, the best offer now at this particular moment itself. So like what I mentioned is more towards to, you need to make sure that your, your uh, business is searchable throughout a few different channels. So mm. when moments like this, right, when people having the needs and when they want to look for a business to offer them the product and the services, you are there. You are already there. You know, so the, the first business, I mean, the first, the, the, the first website that the, 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 um, the audience or the customers, your potential customers will be able to find is you rather than your competitors, right? But now you need to start now instead of later because All you right. are going to prepare yourself for the future. <laughs> so if you're not still not taking actions and tapping into uh, building your awareness and appearance online, then you'll be missing out this opportunity because to me, this is more to us. Um, Fulfilling the demand is much more easier than creating a demand. You understand what I'm saying? Fulfilling yeah. a demand yes. is much more easier than creating a demand itself. So um, my perspective is that I, I'm more towards to those people that, you know, a lazy better. <laughs> 
so I, I like people to come to me and say and say that hey you know like i need you i want i, I want to buy can you you know can you offer me so this is more towards to my my strategy that i always gear towards right but definitely i do understand some of the business uh in, in, in terms of these tough situations, um, you know, you need to find ways to actually get sales. And that's the moment that, you know, uh, uh, Kelly strategy and also Charles strategy will be coming into the picture. But we are looking at in, in, in those more towards to a more holistic approach. So one is to solve your current situation and one is to prevent you <laughs> for the future. And yeah, so that's that's more towards uh, my, my, my point over right here. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. I think what we need to do as a business owner is to balance up so that we are not stuck in the situation again. Because I believe if you're a real entrepreneur, what will happen is, oh, Kelly disappeared, is it? Oh, she's back. What will happen is we need to prepare for the near future and also for the long-term future so that we do not catch ourselves facing this again. Because what happens if three months down the road, I mean, I'm not a fear monger or anything, but as a businessman, we have to think six months down the road and COVID-2020 comes. I mean, now it's 19, right? So I call it COVID-20. And another six months, we have to stay at home. What if recession comes? So as a business owner, we need to prepare for all this. So can I say, can, with your, I mean, your, let me know your point. Eh? It's creating multiple streams of generating leads or income is a good strategy today. Or we should still focus on, oh, I'm a digital marketer. I can only do digital marketer. I cannot do any other things. What's your thought process on this? Um, Zabin? I think Kelly stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I thought same order. Kelly will be the first. Uh -huh. um, to me, um, I would definitely much more prefer um, diversify your traffic source, right? Yeah. And uh, to diversify your um, your channel for you to get the customer itself. Definitely uh, offline marketing, offline offline strategy. That's one channel itself. But tapping into online, we are looking at uh, multiple channels like uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, definitely, we have Google as well. Sure. So um, I'm looking at in terms of the strategy is more towards to you need to look into your business with your existing products that you have and the existing services that you have. And you need to um, segregate them into one type of uh, product and services is more towards to evergreen product and service mm. that you're going to offer throughout the whole year there's no special promotion and things like that you'll be you know a, a standard package and a st standard offer evergreen forever and ever i mean throughout any times that when the customer come to look for you that's something that you have on place for your customers right so that is something's uh, evergreens uh, products but on the site itself, you need to come up with like a short-term campaign, products, uh, packages, offers, and things like that for you to boost up your sales. Mm. So, you know, like in terms of like season factors, we have like festive, you know, people are running promotion uh, during COVID, you know, people are, are actually also throwing out special page promotion. That is on the side, you need to work on as a, a, a extra bonus for you to actually boost up your sales. But you mm. still need to keep yourself as a you know you still need to have the evergreens based kind of like product ongoing and running yeah so that's mm. okay thanks how about Kelly what do you think do you have multiple streams I, I agree 50 percent and disagree 50 percent <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> okay agree is just uh just now uh, what Zamin uh, Zamin says that uh yes we sometimes we need to have uh another funnel which uh uh cater for evergreen okay that is also part of the funnel as well the sales funnel that one is catered for more on uh, like evergreen okay long-term strategies that's a one part of funnels but to i think now nowadays it's a very toughest time already so time is like a very, very precious things so you really need to you know it's like a screen you know but it's a long-term screen now right? you really have to force yourself to really fight to the end and then to go and get sales in so that your the business can survive so that's why previously I, I mentioned already. That's why um the sales funnel now you really have to um plan at least you have a two to three and test it out to see which funnel actually is the workable and most efficient one. And then sure. this one you actually can make it more proactive lah, to do it. And then same like just now, Charles. Sorry, I have one last sentence. Lah. Okay, so same like just now, Charles. Charles, you also mentioned that you uh, want to build up your community. Build up the community is part of the sales funnel as well. Sure. Right. So that's why yeah. a one business, you must have multiple sales funnel to survive. 
yeah, that's it. Yeah, so my point is, um, based on both of your statements, should a business owner pivot to some things that to focus on what the people want or they still need to focus on what they are good at? Does it make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Because it, it's survival mode right now. So for example, yeah, um, yeah. event management. Cannot do event outside there, correct? We're not event company. Uh, we will just use this as example, a uh, case study, so that uh, right. most of us can understand. Yeah. So should they just focus that, oh, I'm, I'm going to do event when things are better, or should they pivot into other strategies? So I'm going to answer that first. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Yeah? I, I ask and I answer my own, right? So um, <laughs> because I'm also a panelist and I'm also the moderator, so two in one. So now, event management, okay? <laughs> I'm looking at the comments and I'm a bit, okay. Event management, now we cannot do events, correct or not? But what we can do it is event people can also do, we call it virtual submit. Are you familiar with virtual submit? Yeah. Where we can invite speakers, you know, and then have a ticketing system. Right. And I think in the US, right. um, this is done very, very well. And they get about 20, 30 people and people are still willing to pay to listen to maybe thought leaders, authority leaders, yeah. Um, experts in a certain field, and that's what I'm calling that pivot into different strategies rather than just wait and hope that ah things will recover in the next six months, hopefully, or three months. I mean, I don't think business can have the cash flow. I mean, do, some of course they do, but not everybody can just wait for things to get better. So, to yeah. me, my advice is get your business, but try to think as much as you can before you go into other business to save what you have because you have built so many years. Hmm. Yeah. So that, that's like me, right? Always, yeah. Actually, can always can improvise one. You can see uh, Tesla. Tesla and uh, one of the brand for the breast pump. They actually improvise the technology to become a ventilator. Okay. Breast so, pump ventilator. Okay. I yes, breast pump. It's fucking, yeah. yeah. It works. The mechanism is the same. La. So that's okay. why it actually improvise it because they already have the technology. Um, yes. Yeah, they just improvise it to become more other business value. Okay, okay. Uh, the Prime Minister is talking now, so out of respect, I think we'll wait for a while, yeah? But I want to engage with all the audience today, yeah? So we will take a lot of your questions now. We will just answer you so that you can still focus on both. But I will still answer some questions, yeah? So we want question by... Um, oh, this is Dato, Dato Lawrence. Okay, he's asking this, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I heard starting an e-commerce site might need a few thousand. Yeah, true. Should a person have no experience in this area invest in the creation of the site and learn along? Yeah, or add more products first and survey the items are interested for the people first. Okay, I think I summarize this into a more simpler. Yeah, should a person who wants to start e-commerce focus on what the product first or focus on what the people wants to buy? I think. Correct. Interesting to other people first, yeah. So, anyone of you want to take this uh, volunteer? So, so, I don't know. Uh, hold on, yeah. I'm just trying to get the question. Focus on the technology to create first, or oh. focus on the yeah people. Okay. People. First, I, I, yeah. I think I can uh, I can um, answer on that, yeah, because sure. um, this is my experience, yeah. So in the past, I I, I did a. Uh, quite a number of different um, e-commerce business and e-commerce website before. Um, even before um, we have Groupon, even before, before we have Lazada and uh, Shopee and all these kind of marketplaces, right? So that time I started um, the e-commerce and having the concept in, in terms of, again, I, I'm more towards to those kind of like, I, I will be doing all the research on the internet and having to know that's what kind of products that's having the demand in the online world itself, yeah. So when I know that, okay, this is the things that uh, people are searching on demand, you know, on online, but yet I don't see that uh, that many website or e-commerce website is offering the product products yet. So that is the markets that I will go into. That's the niche that I will go into. Okay. So my perspective is a bit different because um, I don't own any products. You see, so I don't have a business with a product. So I will be more towards to working with other people that having the products and I partner with them. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, Zavid, hold on, yeah. So, you're saying that even if you don't have this expertise in a certain products, you can still make money because you are asking what the people want and then you are creating a fulfillment 
for the people. Am I correct or not? Yeah. So this is something that I want to let them digest because in digital marketing or in business, you don't have to just focus on what you have in your resources because you can collaborate with each other. Mm. Yeah, can I say that? Okay, yeah. continue yeah. please. Yeah. yeah. And on the second point, uh, when coming to uh, Dato Lauren's uh, questions, right, um, this is also right after that, I, I, I handled a few clients' projects, right? And my clients will be telling me like this, hey, Zevin, I have like, you know, usually e-commerce business, they will have like having more than hundreds and even thousands of SKU. So they will be having a lot of like different products to offer, right? So then what they, they will be telling me, uh, me like, Zevin, I, I, I want to build an e-commerce website, right? But uh, I want to uh, put in all the SKU first. I have 2,000 SKU, you know. <laughs> the problem is 2,000 SKU, if you do all the data entry key in with that 2,000, how much time that it will take you to put in everything in into the website and everything perfect, then only you launch to the market. Um, 2,000 minutes? <laughs> 2,000 SKU. <laughs> with graphic <laughs> with description. Six months. It yeah, I sense, think... Right? But yeah. the main points over right here, Six one months. thing we are also fighting with the time. We are fighting with the, you know, like time is precious, right? If you wait until you put in all the products, 2,000 SKU into the whole website, everything done up, completed already, then only you start to market, you'll be losing out a lot of the opportunity right there. Mm. So my advice, usually what I would do is that, you know, even though you only have like 10 products, I mean 10 SKU with you or even less than that, you can already start marketing at the same time then slowly you add in your you know your products later on so uh having to say that an e-commerce website if you don't have any people that's interested in your products there's no traffic there's no people coming into your e-commerce website you will get a single sales as well so there's mm. no point having so many products um having a very you know uh, uh, uh advanced website e-commerce website but not generating a single sales yeah Okay, thanks, Zavin. Um, Kelly, you have any comments on e-commerce? Uh, yeah, she finished already. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to okay. one, is it? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so, uh, the Prime Minister is still talking, correct? Correct me, I'm wrong. So, we'll still wait for... Um, I mean, yeah, he still continue talking, yeah? So, the comments, i just read some comments here. I came here to see Zavin, yeah. Yeah, um, Zavin has a lot of friends, yeah. Um, yeah, so people and tend to be perfect. <laughs> okay, I think, I think this is a good, a good, yeah, a good um, statement, yeah. People tend to wait to be perfect before they launch. In the end, they take too long to go to market. Exactly, yeah. Um, so I want to ask a little bit different, yeah. What if that is not your best and you show people and it gives you a negative branding? Is there such a word as negative branding? Um, I think we all understand what's negative. I'm just coining the term, right? And it, it reflects, reflects, yeah, it reflects you as a it's a bad business. Wow, this kind of quality that you produce. Uh, what's your thoughts? Should we be perfect first or should we be ready to market first? Kelly, you want to share this? Okay, I think um, it really depends on your timeline. I mean, before you're starting with the projects, right, you always will come with a timeline and you always also come with like a phrase. Mm. Okay, so maybe if let's say you're already reaching about 90% or 90% or 95%, you can actually have a soft launch first. Because uh, why actually a lot of products are, they always have a soft launch. It's, because it's uh, one of the very effective way to test on the market straight away, mm -hmm. get feedbacks from the real market. Then from there, then you will see, okay, what kind of, or what other things that you need to improve further. Mm -hmm. So that's why to me, uh, maybe reach until about 90% to 95%, then you can actually kickstart campaign already. Sometimes mm -hmm. you don't need to wait until like 100% because um, uh, sometimes we say uh, uh, the opportunity uh, is, is, is precious. Uh. Mm -hmm. mm. They're like okay, example, uh, like if let's say some someone they want to launch a product maybe uh, at the beginning of the year, if let's say that they delay another month, straight away go to MCO. So how? Yeah. Mm. I understand. Thanks, thanks, Kelly. So for the rest of you who are watching live now, um, if you have any questions, just post because we don't have an agenda, we just have you know QA. And if you want to ask, you can just ask, and at the same time, 
I will pick their brains more and also my brains together. Yeah, we pick everybody's brain to just go into more digital marketing. So, um, Zabin, what do you think about this, this question? Okay. Um, should people be perfect before they launch or should they go when they are ready? Actually, um, I do understand uh, where Eugene is coming from, right? And um, this is one thing that every one of you need to understand. In the online world, um, you can't actually talk to your customer from that. Do you understand what I'm saying? When someone is visiting your website, when someone is visiting your Facebook page or your YouTube channel, doesn't matter where, yeah, your social media profile and things like that, you wouldn't know who is actually watching your profile and your website from there. And at the same time, you can't really have the person in touch, like face-to-face -face communication with the person. Hey, hello, Charles, you know, I know you're watching on my website. <laughs> we can't do that, right? So how the users and how the customers will be able to make a decision whether or not I will be making an inquiry on your website, whether or not I will decide to purchase from you. It all depends on your website content. That's it, <laughs> right? Okay. The content on how you portray yourself on the internet itself. This is something very important. And having said that, right, when we say not complete the whole thing, not to say that. Um, you are leaving a website with half hanging, meaning to say, you know, when people go into your homepage, there's still some dummy text right there. You know, it's uh, not yeah, yeah. To your website. You know, the image we, you 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 are doing like just now what you're saying, uh, you know, some of the products like let's say a uh, 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 luxury bags, right? But suddenly when people go in, it's actually on a food related image. Mm. Then it's, I'll be confused. Eh? What, what kind of business you are actually you know doing and what kind of products so the the the, the one that we are saying over right here is that you still need to make sure that you come out with um, at least a professional website with complete information if you decided that you're going to put up a home page at least you complete like, your home page you know and if you have decided to put up a, a about us and contact us page then you go ahead but not necessary that we have to build until 100 pages, then only we live our website. So sure. we, we can build the, you know, the, the other pages offline, I mean, not offline, but behind the scene. Then when the page is ready, then only we launch it up to, you know, to the customer itself. At least it looks much more professional in a way. Yeah, so sure. trust building on the internet is very important. So it's good to complete whatever that your marketing materials and things like that. <laughs> and then launch it, get feedback. This is I'm just summarizing. Yeah? Yes, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> raise, must raise up the hand. Okay. Uh, okay, I just want to uh, add on a little bit point. Uh, okay. Uh, um, um, this is also can be considered another funnel. Okay. You can see. Yeah? Okay. Uh, there's a few actually business that is quite a successful business already. Uh, mm. Some of the business. They don't even have a ready products when they start to launch a campaign. Okay. Example, I think everyone knows the white shirt, right? Hmm. Yeah. The so we're saying thing. that test the market first with the product. Yes. Even though that you don't have the product yet. Yes, correct. They actually start to launch it and then after that, they collect the money first from the consumer. Hmm. before, And then uh, they let the consumer to wait at least I thought it's about eight weeks. Uh. It's about two months. Then only they deliver the ready product to the consumer. Okay. So the strategy is, it depends on how you craft your sales funnel. Yeah. As long as the expectations are met and the customers are being told up front that you know, the delivery is about eight weeks from now and they are willing to buy, I think it's okay. Yeah. But do not deceive people. Like I, I've seen a lot of bad negative things where um, uh, I won't say names, but I'll just give you some example where I want to buy um, property, for example. Yeah, and they said this property is two hundred thousand. So when I go in there, oh, sorry, all sold out. Only five hundred thousand one. I mean, you, you, know what I'm saying, and that is where they they deceive people to get attracted the leads, and then after that they they start selling different different things. And I think a lot of yeah. um company is actually doing that. Yeah chance to win 1,000 ringgit, blah, blah, blah. And then when you want to participate, oh, I'm sorry, the, 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 the promotion is already over. But, you know, if you buy this, you can get this. I think that's very deceiving marketing. And I think that's not correct, yeah? Uh, thanks for the rest of you that is updating uh, the Prime Minister's speech. Um, MCO is extended till May 12th. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. 
Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, so based on that statement, yeah, I just want to ask the next question. What should all of us are business owners, right, including me, yeah, what should we do to future proof our business so that we can still continue with this? What strategies should we go on? So I'll start with you yeah, as a well, my title, the founder and CEO of DMC Group. Amazing. Okay, I'm just reading my title there. Uh, I have to take care of my group and what we do is always uh, physical training in digital marketing. It's very straightforward what DMC does. Very, very easy. But what we have done to future-proof our business model is because we can have the capability to earn through YouTube. We have the capability to earn through SEO. We have the capability to earn through multiple sources of income through different, different channels. What we have done in DMC it is to create departments to focus on this making income through all these channels. So then in our company, we have a lot of streams of income. And why? Because some income will be very slow to generate. For example, not to say very slow, slower than some business model. Yeah? So what we have to do it is to balance up between fast income, balance up between middle income, and balance up within next year only I will see results. Things like SEO websites where we flip the website, where we learn how to build SEO and earn affiliate money. You know, to duplicate that is very simple for us. To make money from that is very simple for us, but it takes probably six months to a year to see about 10, 20,000 a month if we have built enough. So that is what DMC is doing. And as a CEO, I have to take care of that because I promised myself, together with my partners and my team, we will not be stuck again if this prolongs. So it's good to have other source of strategies for your own business. So that is my sharing. Uh, Kelly, you're doing service industry business. Can I say that? Mm. What are you doing um, for your own DMC solutions? Mm, uh, okay, actually same things one. Okay, for yours one, because uh, to solutions, right? The most mm. important thing is still leads, right? It's still leads, I mean, uh, inquiries. So, mm. I mean, um, just now you mentioned about a diversity of the incomes, but to me, yeah. diversity uh, to the leads source is very important as well. So sometimes um, you must have like a, a free methods of bringing leads or you have a paid uh, source of uh, bringing leads. So you just okay. have to diversify it. So paid methods, free methods, different, yes. different strategies on the internet. Yes. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, just to extend the question to you, what channel on digital marketing it is uh, very suitable for paid ads today to generate it? Yeah, what channel. platform? Is it Google? Is it Facebook? Is it Instagram? Twitter? Based on your opinion. Okay. Um, okay. I think I um, I okay. I've <laughs> heard this many times already. Um, the question shouldn't be come with like which channel is more suitable. Okay. It will come back to what is your business nature. Mm. who you want to target to. Mm. Basically, the most important is the target audience. And what is your objective? Yeah, so that's why these three things. So if let's say your these three things you define already, you have a very solid definition, then only you choose the platform which is can bring you the result mm. of achieving the three objectives. Okay, okay, mm. thanks. Mm. Zavin, how about you? What I, are I think, the strategies um, to, to carry forward so that our company still survive all these, you know, so-called negative events? Yeah, I actually um, kind of uh, um, agreeing with the points that two of you mentioned. Um, but one thing that I want to um, add on here to the points of uh, Kelly over right here, because a lot of the time that when people step into digital, or perhaps digital marketing, right? Um, there's so many information on the internet itself. And people will be having the uh, questions of like, which one should I start? Which one should I focus? And exactly the, the question that you just asked, like, you know, like uh, which channels, right? That, that I need to focus and things like that. And Kelly actually mentioned a very, very good point of like, understand your target audience. And this is something that Every one of you guys, right, if you're watching this uh, webinar, I mean, this live over right here, you need to understand one thing. Different channel, it will have a different demographic, different types of users, they will be using that platform itself. So having said that, right, some of us is on more active on LinkedIn. 
because LinkedIn is actually a much more professional networking channel itself, right? Some of us is more uh, uh, active on Instagram and some of us is more active on, on Facebook, right? And definitely at the same time right now, my partner Charles is going to be very active in TikTok <laughs> soon. <laughs> he's not yet on TikTok, but he said that he's going to be, you know, right there on TikTok. <laughs> I'm just oh going to try him right there. But different platforms, it will have different users. You need to understand uh, when when someone is going on Facebook, their intention is very different. One. When I'm on Facebook, I'm not there uh, searching for products. I'm, I'm just there spending my time, spending my free time, right? Then I'm just browsing. So it just happened that, hey, suddenly I saw something that I'm interested. You know, then, then only I will be checking out with the item itself. But some people, they will be actively looking for the things that they want. In their heart, they already know that they, they're going to, you know, I, I, I want something, right? I want to look for something. I have the needs and that's where they will be going to Google. So um, diversify your traffic and diversify your channel is something that really every one of us right now, you need to look into. Back then, a lot of people, they will be pretty much focusing on what? Main one and which is the most popular one. Uh, Facebook page, <laughs> Facebook page, having your own Facebook page. And I even do have like uh, clients come and ask me, hey, Zavin, why do I need to start a website? Eh? Mm. Can't I just, uh, Facebook page is free, you know, it's completely free for us to use, you know, just very fast. We can start up Facebook page already, right? But why do we need to have a website from that? But you need to understand one thing as well. Eh? Facebook page, it doesn't belong to you. Facebook page, it doesn't belong to any one of us over right here, yeah? It belongs to the property of Facebook itself. So in any point in time, right, if one day, yeah, Facebook decided to block your page, your business just gone like that, you know? <laughs> so so if, if, if you are... My, um, my brother's name two days ago. Yeah, so, so this is something that you need to be alert because if you don't have this awareness right there and you are just you know, spending all your time in building all your business on Facebook itself. What happened if, let's say one day, you know, Facebook just decided to shut down your page? Your your business will just collapse from there. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, so to me still, don't put all the eggs into one basket. Diversify is more safer one. And in terms when come to a uh, business model, um, you know, how to survive through and future proof and things like that. I think Charles has been already mentioned. Um, you can't just base on one business model itself right now, this situation, because you will never know what is going to happen in the future. But at least right now, this moment, because of COVID, because of coronavirus, every one of us, we experienced that. We experienced the need for us to actually look into a few different methods, a, a few different business models itself. Mm. Or else, if depending on one, um, your business risk is quite high. Yeah. So I want to pick uh, your brains on Facebook page getting banned. And a lot of, uh, I've seen uh, recently, especially this last week, a lot of Facebook page gets banned, Instagram gets hacked. So that is what we call the negativity of double-edged sword of going online. How can we prevent our Facebook page getting banned by Google? That is number one question. And how do we prevent our Facebook page or Instagram page gets um, hacked? Because I believe Zerming got hacked just recently on Instagram. So I'll break this too. Um, Kelly, you will answer how to prevent your Facebook page from getting banned. What are the things that Facebook don't like today or maybe even live? Uh, I heard that if, if you play music that is not yours, uh, Facebook also ban your live page. Can you elaborate more on this, Kelly? Um, yes, okay. Uh, but actually, uh, in Facebook, right, there is a page, it's called uh, something like uh, prohibited things that uh, they don't want you to say it out. Prohibited. Okay, so you just have to go to Facebook and then you join Google um, restrictions, uh, items restrictions. Then you mm. search through the URL. Then you actually get all the info from there. Mm. Okay, so to the consumer part, means that we are, uh, as an advertiser or as a consumer, what we need to take note is we try not to say something which is a violate the Facebook regulations. Of course, all those like very common wise, like uh, about race or uh, religions, uh, those sensitive issues don't talk about it. And okay. then those like copyright infringement also don't touch it. Okay. okay? And then um, uh, like uh, before, after those kind of things, uh, don't don't touch it. Just go go through the whole list because the list is quite long because I also cannot remember. 
But once you actually done all this, sometimes Facebook also have mistakes. Mm. I, I'm just giving you another example. Like me, okay, our company actually a few days ago, the whole business manager, business manager, inside there's a 30 plus X account, gonna ban. Mm. So I'm panicked, you know, I'm really panicked. So I appeal and then someone now is a COVID. COVID uh, is a very slow response. So I just have to go and appeal and appeal. But after that, they say that, oh, this is uh, their fault, their error. Okay. So um, that's why um, uh, uh, the, 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 after that, they actually give me back the, the, the access for the business. Uh, so uh, Facebook, Facebook actually apologized to you? Lah. Yes. Yes. Apologize to me. Oh, wow, so, amazing. Yeah. Eh? Point, the point that I want to say is how what how about those like business? If let's say one day your business account ban, your ads account ban, but you do not create any database, the customer database for yourself for the business, it's really a disaster. You know, you can imagine uh, it like uh, uh, yeah, the, the few years uh, efforts are uh, gone, okay, like choke into the deep sea, deep blue sea already. So I, I think this is I always share uh, during the class like you always need to uh, make sure that you build enough of customer base. You know, mm. it's like a tabung, tabung, tab, not tabung, OG, tabung what already? Uh? It's okay, tabung. it's called community. Ah, uh, you have, <laughs> that's why it's another funnel, so, uh, it's another funnel, so you need to really accumulate one by one, one by one, your customer, your customer database. Yeah, so Zavin, let's talk about your Instagram account, you got hacked. So how can you prevent this from happening? Or what can we do when we got hacked? So I, I, I'm just about to ask you, you see, <laughs> because I'm the one that got, <laughs> I'm the one that got, you know, like people duplicating my social, I mean, my Instagram and also my Facebook account out there, right? So I, I'm just about to ask you, <laughs> what is the advice for me? Because recently I still found out that uh, actually um, there's still another second account that's trying to fake my profile from them. Um, well, we actually like, Back then, I mean, me and Charles, we are actually uh, been discussing, right? We, we, we sort of like, we can't stop um, people in doing that because it's a, you know, it, it, when the moment that you're going online, everything is like public, right? And everyone will have the access to the same information itself. Everyone will have the access to the same platform itself. And um, at the same time, I think, uh, previously, Charles was also, um, he also kena. <laughs> he also got, uh, uh, you know, people trying to uh, use his profile before as well. And unfortunately, um, you know, that times we doesn't really know how to handle the situation. And uh, what happened is that his account is the one that um, got bad instead of the scammer account. You understand what I'm saying? The original of his account is the one that got banned. So uh, like what I mentioned earlier, um, all these social media profile, your page and things like that is pretty much just a tool, yeah? A tool for you to uh, promote your business and things like that. And um, you can't really have 100% the full control of it because mm. one day, you know, uh, Instagram decided not to carry on with the business and things like that. It's like Friendster back then. Friendster used to be very hot, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> for those still remember Friendster, <laughs> Friendster was before Facebook, isn't it? So. Right. That time is actually acting that, you know, the, the, the pre-Facebook itself. People also see we creating our profile and things like that. But right after that, Friendster just, you know, very fast, it, um, I mean, it closed down. So we don't have face Friendster anymore right now. So same things, you, you won't be able to 100% control. So what you need to do is to control what you can control, which is your website. <laughs> yeah, so okay. Charles, my question to you, how to protect yeah. like profile um, <laughs> i think instead of focusing on how to protect because what we did actually we did a police report we complained to mcmc yeah we complained to write report we did everything that we could based on the guideline and there wasn't any feedback at all so maybe after mco i probably drive to kutrajaya or cyberjaya to the office and personally see them about this because it's been almost six months and they can't do anything or rather I mean, who am I, right? Who, who is Zervin? And, you know, nobody cares, you know, what is this profile? So what, you know, as if like you're so big like that. I also understand it's like we are nobody. So as long as we keep in touch with our community again, to tell people that be careful, you know, we keep always constantly communicating. I think people will be good enough to tell that, hey, this is a scammer. 
let's not entertain this person because we are all matured already. Today, scammers have to find original ways to scam, uh, really one. Uh, because if, if they add you on Skype la, or they message you on Facebook, la, you will know one, ma. Uh, can I have your phone number? Of course, you know, there's out of the ordinary, the character, they will just know it's a scammer. So I think the people will know what to do already because the community is getting more and more sophisticated, la, I would say. La, huh? So don't really worry about that. But I will still go and to Putrajaya or Sabajaya, the headquarters, to just double check and follow up on this. La. So I hope that you don't go through this because mine is quite serious. Um, but I'll just leave this for the next question. Yeah? All right, all right. We still have about 10 more minutes. So is any other questions that you want to ask, whether it's to Zermin and whether to Kelly or even to me or anyone of us in general, you can just post your questions there and then I will answer. Yeah. So before we go, wow, we have about 90, 92, drop 89. It's just people coming in and coming out. This is live, right? This is the first time that we are actually doing live in DMC. So I'm going to share a little bit. I just want to tell you two events that is coming up. Uh, while waiting for your questions, so I just want to share my screen. Just give me a minute. Hold on, yeah. Let me just get things done, and then it's easier for me to share with you. All right. Share screen. Okay, so you should be able to see my screen now. And I just want to talk about the MDAC matching digitalization grant. Yeah? So this is very amazing because the government has allocated a lot of money to help SME. And what they have is a matching grant up to 5,000 ringgit. So basically, DMC is part of this. And in order to claim this grant, you have to apply. Yeah? So you need to be at least, from my screen here, you need to be at least 60% owned by Malaysian. So if a foreigner owns your business, uh, up to 40% uh, maximum, uh, you have to own 60%. And you have to be at least one year old, at least one year old, and you have to make a sales turnover of 100,000 ringgit. If you are two years old, the second year, it is 50,000 ringgit. So the more you do business, the lower your income comes. It's okay, um, according to, uh, to MDAC uh, grant here. Yeah? So we do have this. And what I want to offer now, the first one, I'm uh, sorry. Um, yeah, the first one is you all can get a 15 minutes one-to-one -one consultation with Kelly. So if your business, if you need service, if you need um minds, you know, ideas to digitalize your company, to, to go online, to to leverage on the marketing. Why not leverage on MDAC grant? And this, you can do this now. I think I'll share this in the link. Uh, bit.ly SME slash grant and book a time with Kelly through Calendly. So it's a one-to-one -one consultation with Kelly and see whether you are a suitable fit to attain, obtain the grant from the government whether it's good for you to strategize. Yeah? Kelly has a lot of tools, yeah, especially just digital marketing, um, in terms of uh, planning, in terms of um, simulations and things like that. So this is your chance now to just book a 15 minutes one-to-one -one, and the link is there. Yeah? For those who want to listen more to Zabin, and this is for those who have not um, participate before in a Zervin stock. I do welcome you uh, on a live webinar. This live webinar, but you need to register. It's not like a Facebook, it's on Zoom, where she will share with you digital marketing strategies, the top strategies that she's using it on her own that is working right now on the day. It's on 25th of April, 2 to 4 p.m. So there's a link there for you. You just register. And all these are completely free. Yeah? If, if you think that you you want to be part of it, do join us. Yeah. So I will just um, stop the screen. Yeah. I can post the link in the community site. And what's going to happen is I'm going to take some questions if we do have. Yeah. So we do have a few questions. Huh? So I'm just going to share show this one. So this is by Eugene again. SEO, Facebook, Google Ads. How do we know which one is the most effective? Like, who wants to answer this? Hey, I, I thought you were 
Huh? Answer already, yeah. Yeah, just on the which platform is the same, right? Ah, oh, so Eugene, unfortunately, the the panel doesn't want to answer you, so I'll remove it. <laughs> it's okay, right? we can because this is our show, we can do anything we want. It's okay, one. It's a fun thing, yeah. If you get a more, I don't want to be so serious, like, but first time. Okay, I want to see Charles TikTok. There's, there's no child TikTok here, huh? okay. So, is there any other questions that you want to ask? If not, if not, if not, <laughs> while waiting for the question, I'm going to ask Kelly and uh, Zavin and also uh, Charles. One thing that you have not told people about yourself, because these are all the people that you know attended up to one hour. I think they deserve something from you. One skill set or one thing that nobody knows about your character or your skill set. Like you must share. Come, who wants to start? You start first. You start first. I start first. Okay, I don't want sharing with you. Okay, I start first. Huh? Coffee, coffee. Yeah, huh? drinking coffee. Yeah, huh? has no effect on me. I can sleep anywhere, anytime within two minutes. Anywhere, anytime within two minutes. Even if I drank ten coffee cups, it doesn't affect me at all. And this is my superpower. Because I am like Doraemon. I mean, not the physical Doraemon. Eh? I will just share with you. When I travel anywhere overseas country, I go to the plane, I sleep. In two minutes, eh? before before the plane take off, eh? I'll sleep. Eh? And then when the plane take down, eh? I wake up. So it's like Doraemon because it's like teleportation to me. Because I don't know anything and I just sleep and wake up. And four hours, five hours, six hours, whatever, I will just completely sleep. And that is my superpower. And I thank my superpower. So that's about me. Um, Lai, next one. Who wants to share? Zemin okay, or I Kelly? I share first. I share first huh? Okay, <laughs> Kelly, go ahead. Um, okay, to me is uh, um, keep, 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 keep trying. Oh. To me, I, I have a never... I do not have any never give. I mean, I do not have any give up in my dictionary. Wow, you don't have a give up in your dictionary. Yeah, okay. so that's why I will keep uh, trying. A lot of people, although a lot of people surrounded me, uh, I, maybe I'm quite tough headed lah. Okay, uh, I think uh, I also got this kind of feedback from you also, right? <laughs> so as long as I think uh, it makes sense, then I will just go already. So nothing can stop you lah. Yeah. Yes. So, so you, your special skill is the Juggernaut. You know Juggernaut from X Men, the one with the toppy one. He can go through Ooh. walls. He can go. Can, can, can you give a, a a prettier prettier character to me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know because you are the Juggernaut. Because you just go through, no matter what is you know in your hindrance, you just go. You know. All right. Okay. Thanks, Kelly. Um, Zavin, right? For I, your people who are viewing you today. For you, uh, I did coffee. <laughs> And I need good coffee every day. <laughs> but uh, to me, I don't think it's a superpower per se. Lah, huh? It's not so-called a superpower, but um, it's over the years, I feel the change of me. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I feel the change of me in terms of uh, seeing things from different perspectives. And this works very, very well. Uh, for the recent years of month itself, uh, when I face challenges, problems, and situations like this, right, um, I actually able to see it from a different perspective. From um, then, I, I don't give too much of negative um, energy stay with me from there. So from whatever things that if even though it's something that is very negative happens, right, I will tend to. Uh, give myself a, a different view so that I can convert the view into a positive. So that I'll be very happy already after that. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, so it's okay. <laughs> so can I summarize that you can, you have full control of your emotions that you can turn any negativity into positivity, a Zen mode level. I mean, not until full control yet. I'm definitely, I'm still working on it. But um, when a lot of the time when people come and complain to me, um, the things that they are facing, uh, in one second itself, right, I can very fast and tell the persons of the positive side of it and change their perspective into positive. So I have been practicing that uh, pretty much uh, 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 quite, quite, quite a lot. 
So to my team members, <laughs> those that came to me, you know, you know who you are. Um, yeah, but at the same time, I'm practicing that to myself. So when um, even situation like this, um, instead of we are looking at as in like uh, 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 a very bad situation, uh, me and Charles, we are actually, you know, looking at it as like, wow, there's so much opportunity and so much things that we get to do. And there's so many things that we can do. So we get very excited from there, you know. So so it's more to us to... Um, how to not to allow yourself to stay into that negative zone that much. I mean, yeah. for, for a shorter period of time, huh, at least. So, Zavin, your fans are coming out now. We have competition between <laughs> Craig Hawk and Bill. But I'm not going to go into that. So, uh, this is for Bill. Eh? So I want to show Bill. Uh, he's asking, um, do we explore the MC, uh, I mean, sorry, WeChat marketing module? I think WeChat, um, I think we can still spend some time, even though it's a 9 o'clock. I think, Kelly, you are quite yeah. comfortable with WeChat. Yeah. yeah, just share okay. for yeah. I I did actually create the programs in WeChat before, but um in Malaysia market, if let's say now you want to explore in a maybe other overseas market, then that one is excluded. I, I I wouldn't don't want to touch. But if let's say you talk about uh local markets, same things you still have to understand where is your audience. Hmm. Because in Malaysia's right, um uh, Malaysian is still focusing in uh, like you know in Google, in Facebook. In YouTube and Instagram, we check you can do it when you want to build a community, uh, like Charles one, build a community. So the fathers, okay, come back to the fathers again, ah, uh, we check should be at the end of the funnels. At the end of the funnel. Yes. So at the beginning, you need to still using like Google, um, Facebook, those like social media, those are the normal common one, to bring the traffic come into the trap uh, the funnel first. Then only you have your own crowd, the VVIP customers. Then only you put them into the WeChat. Mm. Yeah, so this is my experience. Mm. Mm. True. Okay. Thanks. Um, Zavin, you have any thoughts on uh, WeChat marketing? Actually, uh, it's correct that it's actually, you know, using the funnel and things like that for you to uh, later on building the community and engage with the people, right? But still, it has to come back to um, who is your target customers? Um, because different customer base, they will tend to be more familiar or comfortable with different platform itself. We have WeChat la, we have like uh, 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 um, Telegram la, you know, WhatsApp group la. We have so many different uh, uh, channels for you to actually engage, continue engage with the audience itself. So mm. it's still pretty much that you need to depends on um, your customer base. Uh, yeah, whether or not they are suitable for the platform itself. Okay. So we have um, a question from um, Nair. Nair is asking for a digital marketing course. How will you convince the MCs the best? Nair, I to answer you this. We don't have to convince you because you will decide on your own. Yeah. So if you want to know more about all these things, I'll just share my screen again, if you don't mind. Come and decide for yourself whether this is suitable for you because at the end of the day, you will set and you will decide for yourself. Yeah. So if you want to know more about our certification program, I think I will talk after Zavin. Once she finished her talk, I will just talk a little bit about the certification program on that day itself. So if you're interested, for those who are interested to know more about uh, certification, do register here. Uh, I will post the link again for you so that um, you can just uh, consider this here. So I'll just stop this. All right. I think we already overshot our time. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for all those who have participated. And um, let me just say, uh, have you taken a print screen or not? Have you taken a print screen? Blah. Have you taken a photo or not? Photo. Can, photo. can you take a photo so that it's the first time that you are doing this and we will do this again on a weekly basis? So let me just ask for those who are still remaining. <laughs> Uh, of course, this is my show. Yeah, I, I'm the host and I'm also the participant today. So I'm playing two roles here. Yeah? Next week, if you still want my show, my life, yeah, with DMC, I will invite other girls yeah, who are more prettier. And uh, you know, things like that. Or oh, guys that is more handsome than me, no problem. So if you all want that, can you all just type in DMC so that at least I know that you know you want more of these kind of talks, or if you want more specific, because it's end of the day, it's all about you. So if you want more of this, can you type in the chat room, DMC for me, so that at least I know that, you know, and if you want any topic, any topic at all, any topic at all, because it's my show, I can bring in a lot of people, no problem on any topic or so, 
you tell me, you just type in there, and then I will arrange, and then next week, uh, I don't know whether it's the same time or not, uh, we will do this again, yeah? Ayo, you want Zervin to be host? No, no, it's my show, my show. No, it's my show. <laughs> you want you, you go to Zervin's territory? <laughs> <laughs> you want Zervin to be host? Zervin will open her own show, and then it's okay, you do another life on your own. No, this is my show, yeah? You're taking my spotlight away. Yeah? This one, I'm in the middle, yeah? You can see I'm in the middle there, yeah? All right, all right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for participating. Uh, I will just wait um, for the feedback. Uh, before I go, uh, Kelly, Zavid, is there any last words? Charles, do you want to say anything? Uh, last words to other people here? I actually uh, saw uh, one of the comments by Chris. Mm. Hi, Chris. Chris was saying that uh, asking you know, the three of us uh, work better from home or at office. Mm. <laughs> To, to me, um, at first, I kind of like not very um, like used to it lah because, you know, I, I, I like to go out, right? So that's that's the moment. But right now, I'm kind of like feeling um, slightly better a bit because I'm having the moments of like peacefulness. <laughs> because when the moment I'm at office, right, doesn't matter where I hide, you know. We have three officers in, uh, I mean, DMC, we have three different officers, right? So it doesn't matter which area that I hide, uh, they, my team will be able to find me one. You know? Suddenly, they will just open and say, Samit, I want to ask you a question. <laughs> I was like, how do you know that I'm there? You know, I'm hiding. <laughs> or even I'm hiding at a cafe down my office right there. So suddenly, uh, they were just, during lunchtime, they will just come and then say, hey, Samit, uh, you got uh, a moment or not? <laughs> so at least now uh, at home, they cannot come to my house, right? Open my door. <laughs> the only thing they can do is ping me on, you know, on, on, on my uh, work channel and things like that. So yeah, I'm kind of like, used to it but i'm still gearing to it is to work at office seeing them you know you can chit chat with them you know i can attack charles directly <laughs> so your fans yeah. are all here you see your fans just to show you your fans oh, yo. <laughs> Terrible, <laughs> huh? i don't invite you anymore okay Kelly, <laughs> any 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 thoughts uh, on uh question do you prefer working at home or office uh i prefer to work at cafe <laughs> Cafe, yeah. And office as well. Okay. I think we will just end it here because it's already past 10 more minutes. Yeah. So again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and our heart. And see you all when I see you all again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.